Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Product Coaster. Where um, today we're going. Oh, this is actually um before I before I start. This is a, this is from a live stream I did a while ago. Yeah, this has been a while ago because I've been pretty busy recently. But um, yeah, yeah, this is from a few weeks ago. Um, this is just the live stream sped up as a time lapse. Um, yeah, we're gonna be building a Vicoma STC t today. A suspended throw coaster made by Vicoma, obviously. Yeah, we're going to be doing the, um, the track and supports and some of the terrain work today. Um, so, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, as as you can see, um, um, yeah, yeah, I'm using the um, arrow, the arrow. Um, oh god, the arrow. Is it just be? Is it just called the arrow suspended coaster? What's happened here? Oh. I, 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 I should really should, should oh wait yeah I know what that was I was um I was trying to google some reference images that's what I was doing because yeah yeah I wanted to get this quite accurate to what what they because there is actually only one in real life and I wasn't sure how steep the lift hill what of the, the steep the lift hills usually are so I had a look at the um, the one that exists in real life and um, based my thing off that. It's not the same layout, obviously. But um, yeah, yeah. One um one issue I had is that um you can't put um banking offset so hardlining. You can't hardline the track of the arrow suspended coaster because it's you know it's a, it's usually the um, the swingy trains. So yeah, yeah, you can't do that, which means. Yeah, yeah, the the actual track profiling was was a bit was a bit hard to do, but I think it turned out all right. I'm quite happy with this ride. Um, it, it is sci-fi themed, or it will be once I finish the theming, as it's in the sci-fi area, located directly next to Cyborg. As you can see, it is literally right there. So yeah, um, um, this is um, this is just me testing the ride. I think. Because this, as I said, this is a this was a live stream which I've just put into the video. Oh, and then sped it up as a time lapse. So, so yeah, I think it, it's a pretty short layout. I'll be honest, but I'm ha quite happy with it. It's um, yeah, it's. Oh, I wouldn't say it's inspired by the SOC layout. You know, your standard SOC, but it is kind of because I I use some of the same elements as. Um, SLC is but obviously I did not want to recreate the SLC layout because it one I don't like recreating layouts for you know not not recreations two it's a Vicoma SLC you know if you're gonna recreate a layout at least get something better than a Vicoma SLC uh, to, to be fair, I should probably stop this because um, the, the Coma SLC layout is actually decent. It's just they're really rough, and I can tell you they're rough because I I am I experienced one yesterday. No, 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 the day before yesterday, as I'm recording this, I experienced one on Sunday. I um, I went to Blackpool Pleasure Beach and rode Infusion again, and I I um, yeah yeah I don't think I'm gonna be riding that again this season. I'll be honest. Anyway, this is me doing the smoothing now. I think after I do the smoothing, I recall the ride, and um, um, and then I do the supports. Obviously, it's um, it's entirely custom. What am I doing here? I think I was just checking the sight lines. I'm not sure. So yeah, actually, since I recorded this, I've actually done a bit of work off camera around um around Cyborg. I've just fix some of the terrain a bit and made it look a bit nicer so yeah I've done some of that and also I did some more theming which is you know cool so yeah this is me doing the terrain work now um some pretty basic this is just the terrain I've not done I, I don't put any trees or anything in yet unless I put some in now across the outside I wanted quite a big um quite a big um hillside here because the next area is going to be like there so I wanted quite a, um, a blockade of hills. So yeah, yeah, that's why that's why the um, the hill is like quite tall on one side of the coaster. And um, yeah, this is I guess you could call this a terrain coaster. Like it does interact with the terrain quite a bit. I don't know. Oh, I, I um, when I was building that, I did take some inspiration off Nemesis, obviously. And this, now this is pretty, pretty one of the colours. 
Yeah, this is quite similar to Nemesis, how it goes underneath the station. I know Nemesis doesn't go underneath it. Does it go underneath the station or is it a breaker and it goes? I don't know. But yeah, but yeah, that was one of my other inspirations. Now this is me doing the custom supports. I'm using these dead wide supports because um, I noticed that's what the supports don't like, so that's what I'm doing. That is quite a cool view across the park actually from the top of that lift hill if you're looking the other way. Probably should have angled for lift hill to be pointing the other way. But yeah, yeah, this is this is um, the lift hill supports. Um, the lift hill supports I basically just copied what they look like off the actual real ride. Because you know, it seems like a fairly sensible thing to do. Yeah, this is actually, um, it's a bit taller than the real one, and uh, you, you see, I keep saying the real one, I've not said its name. A, I can't remember its exact name, and B, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to pronounce it anyway. It's, um, is it in Germany? Yeah, I think it's in Germany. It is in Europe somewhere. Actually, what is it called? I can't, I can't even remember what it's called. I just remember not being able to say what it's called. So. Oh. oh. Okay, I, I don't know what happened there. I think I just did froze all the bike. Oh no, that was probably an autosave. Yeah. Yeah, when it autosaves this part, this, um, this park's getting quite big. And I am... Um, yeah, when it autosaves, I do tend to get a bit lag for, for about... 30 seconds or a bit less, I just tend to, to just sit there and wait for it to stop. Anyway, um, this is this is one of the um, other supports. You see, um, they don't actually have any connectors for this type of truck again. So, um, yeah, I'm using the, um, the, what's it called, the, the smaller supports as like connectors on this. Yeah, anyway, we're getting towards the end of the video now. This is this is this is where I do all the stuff I was supposed to say at the beginning. Um, yeah, yeah, I have a list here. Join my Discord server. Why not? It's in, it's in the description. Um, check out my website, which I haven't posted to in ages because I've been really busy. Um, yeah, yes, yeah, so that's also in the description. Um, um, yes. Um, whatever else is in the description, um, go and click them why not it sounds like a brilliant thing to do you know i wouldn't waste your time would i anyway anyway coast has um been called now um i did have it white for a bit and i realized it was the identical color scheme to the right next to it so i made it gray it was very original at least it's a bit more original than the um, the old towers lined up of coast as well um how many of them are black now one Two, three. There are three black cord coasters. Three of them are the same colour. That's like there's seven major roller coasters. Or oh. mm. eight. Yeah. Mm. In fact, is mine train? Is it is it brown or is it black for track or is it like grey? I don't know. You know, this is this is just me having a cool look at it. There you go, nice cinematic. Why not? And yeah, this is the end of the episode. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time, whenever that may be. I don't know when I'm going to upload next. I'll be honest.